What's up, everybody? Yo, what's going on? Uh, Yo. Welcome to the Anime Mystics Podcast. I am Roman. I'm Steven Sonoski-sama. And today... And I am Killua Productions. Oh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) No problem, that works. Uh, Yeah, as as you're here, we have a guest. Uh, The... uh, Heyo. YouTube channel, uh, Kilua Productions, and uh, we're going to have a few things to discuss. Mm. Um, do you want to give a short introduction about yourself and let everybody know what your channel is all about? And uh, Yeah, at this point, my channel is just whatever I can think of. Uh, if you want to suffer, go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Some people um, like suffering. <laughs> yeah. It's for masochists only. I don't like suffering. I just like being bullied. Particularly by the it, bronze that goddess. Counts. There wasn't an invitation to come over and come with my hand, cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, sorry, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm a big anime weeb. I have over 1,100 uh, shows completed on my list. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I've been a long time viewer of the podcast. All right. You know, when you said that, I was thinking about that too. That this became a, a call-in show. So, long-time listener, first-time caller. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, right on. Well, appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, um, thank you for listening. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. So we. Uh, That's one of the things we wanted to talk about, or you know, we brought you on here for is because, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, we uh, are apparently all Nagatoro fans in here, so we're going to just jump right into it. Um, when is uh, bullying going too far? Uh, that's uh, for me. For me, the thing about uh, is if you use it in a comedic way and you use it in a way that's not like, uh, how do you say it? If you use it in a comedic way where it's not like the main focus of the story, like where Nagatoro, it, it, it is a focus of the story. Mm-hmm. But it's not like it's, but there are other things that go on that entertain it. Like for example, if if it was just the hitting and the bullying, that would be one thing. But if it's like, but if if it's a if it's a plot point, I think that's another. I also think you. I also think the bully should be at least a somewhat likable character. Uh, because if 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 it's because if you have a bully character, you have to be very careful how you write it. If you write a bully character and nobody likes them, it'll ruin the entire show. Right, Especially right. if they're supposed to be a protagonist. So do you think that Nagatoro is pushing it? Or you, you said something about like when the character like hits him. So is it different from when she's like punching him and versus hitting him with noodle arms? Do you think there's a distinction between that? Or is hitting someone hitting someone? I, I, I definitely think context matters. Mm-hmm. Nagatoro is is meant to be a more uh, comedically uh, filled show. Yes. Uh, compared to a lot of the other a lot of the other uh, hitting women hitting man anime, yeah. which are uh, which are which try to make themselves so serious. And when you take a serious show and add aspects like physical abuse, but don't but make that as like a good thing. Then that that the, it sends a different message than if using it for comedic effect, in my opinion. It's hmm. fair. Yeah. If I bring up the example, uh, I I don't know if you guys have seen it. Uh, the Familiar of Zero, uh, which I've, is I've uh, of, anime. Yeah. Hmm? I've heard of it. Same. I haven't seen it, but I know of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. You don't need to see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the whole plot point, the main plot. Is uh, in a way it's similar to Naruto, uh, but uh, the, the main character uh, gets transported into another world and becomes the familiar of a bad magician. And I'd say around forty-five percent of the airtime is is her um, beating uh, her, um, him with like whips, with like spikes, and it's like the guy's injured like all the time, and. It's and and then but they don't like they don't make her likable. She's not a likable character. And the show is supposed to have mostly serious plot lines. So and they'll go from what they'll do is they'll go from uh, having her just beat the crap out of him to the next scene, 
he, he's still somehow obsessed with her, and they kiss. And then the next scene, she goes back to beating the crap out of him for little to no reason. And with, like, no connotation as to why. What they also do is they evolve her character, thinking, oh, maybe she'll be nicer now. And they'll be like, nope, that was a joke, and then she'll go back to being her old self. Sounds like he's a masochist. I was about to say, does he have a history of being bullied like Senpai does? I don't, I don't think so. We don't really know much about his... It's been years since I watched it, but I think he first came in because he's from another world. Right. He got transported and turned into a familiar a slave, basically. Right. Uh, so I, I don't know. Uh, he's definitely pussy whipped. Oh, okay. If I can say that. Uh, but, uh, oh, it's yeah. too late. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Keep going. Keep going. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> his, his, logic, his logic of things, because he starts off hating it. Yeah. But then she falls in love with her, even though she does not change whatsoever. Yeah. Which has always confused me. And actually... Since that was the uh, the first anime I ever watched, was that was that show, and it almost completely turned me off the idea of anime. Then my second show was Hunter x Hunter, which, uh, by my name, you can tell, uh, brought me back on board. Did you ever watch that one, Bro? Hunter Hunter? Yeah. I have not watched it, but I've read all the way up until I think after the uh, the election. Mm. I'm going to have to recommend you uh, you watch it. It is the best show to ever exist, in my opinion. Better than well, One Piece? One Piece is out, so that's <laughs> Immediately the answer. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of One Piece. Ooh. Never have been. All right, so this I've podcast watched, watched, is over. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. I understand <laughs> the appeal. It's just not my style. Right. I get it. I understand. There's a lot of people who can't get past like the art style or even like some of the humor. But mm-hmm. For me, I, what I did was I watched like the first ten episodes... And everyone, I know everyone says it gets good later, so then I selected random episodes because I'm not sitting through a thousand... Because if I, if I caught up to One Piece, I would have to just discard everything else in my life at the current moment. Uh, and I still probably wouldn't be able to catch up, but I, I selected... I went to, I went to like, episode 350, and then, like, 450, and then, like, a random one other than that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, I get the appeal. It's cool action scenes. It's just... Uh, it's, it's definitely a little... A uh, little on the the uh the hard to get into side if you're not into a specific niche i guess i i, I understand where the enjoyment comes from but it's just uh they're the, the the thing the animation and even some of the humor as you said uh there those are things i cannot get past uh to like get myself super invested into the show i i'm gonna say i think one of your mistakes was just picking random episodes I always tell people to get up to at least episode 45. And if you do not like the series by then, then you're probably not going to like it. Episode see, 45 the thing, specifically the thing is, of One most Piece? Most anime aren't 45 episodes long. No, so I'm, talking, I'm, talking, needs... I'm talking specifically One Piece. I understand that. But it's like, it's like, it's, it's like I feel, because I, I watched 10 episodes specifically, because uh, one of my favorite animes, Problem Children Are Coming to Another World, is 10 episodes long in total. So I've always used that as, like, my base, as, like, if it can't get me enthralled in the first ten episodes, and I probably will not enjoy it too much. Well, I can tell you that even I don't really enjoy the first ten episodes of One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, like it's right still in... my all-time favorite series. It's, like, right in the middle I'll, of I'll uh, probably, Zoro, right? I'll probably try to get in, back into it a I little bit. I think that's that might be just getting into Usopp. Okay. Okay. So I also have I also have very controversial anime takes. Uh, I'm a big Isekai fan. I, I I I love the overpowered character arc, even though everyone else seems to hate it. Well, you know it's popular, uh, so everybody hates it. Yeah, I was about to say I, it's, it's kind of to avoid it. Yeah, it's. I think it depends. There's some uh, OP characters that are done better, and there's some that are done worse. I mean, look how long it took for me to care about Bodasu and ReZero, you know? But, uh, Cosmo... No, you can't consider ReZero an OP character, though. Right, well, kind of and kind of not, but it, it still took a while for him to become any good, and, you know, Kirito, on the other hand, is probably more mainstream and more popular, but I could give two flying fucks about him. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm talking I'm talking about, like, Kirito is a good example. I'm talking about, uh, I know Ronan's watched uh, Kendra Nomago. Is, is a good example. 
where it's like it's like it's not the best story. It's a good. I, I like the story, mm-hmm. and but the the main focus is that he's just real, really, really OP. And I get why people don't like it. But, you know, sometimes it's just like you you don't want to you don't want to cry about an anime character going through uh, suffering and suffering, uh, or and sometimes you just want to see uh, bad guys get beat up with no resistance. Yeah, that was a good one too, by the way. Kendrick I know one. you like that one. I know. Uh, you haven't seen it. It's the one where it was at a. Uh... Oh god, um, it's the one where that where the dude dies, goes to another world as like a an infant baby, basically, mm. and gets pretty much adopted by Merlin, and he starts teaching him magic. Oh yeah, we were talking about that one like last year. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on my. It was in my top five for a decent bit. It has fallen out. It's 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 it's, it's probably a little out of my top ten at the moment. What knocked it out? Just other anime I watched that I enjoyed more. Uh, I I didn't I was very late to the assassination classroom mm. uh, trend. For example, I only watched it. Uh, I only watched it like I think I watched it last year, like when COVID really started hitting. Mm. So I had more uh, free time. Right. Uh, so I, I watched it and I'm like, oh, this is uh, assassination classroom is definitely my second favorite anime at the moment. Another controversial take, but. Uh, I definitely loved literally every single episode. I could, I, I, I can't think of an episode I didn't like. Assassination Classroom. That's not, that's not a for me. That's not a controversial take. If you would have said, if I would have said Kirito is a piece of shit, and you would have said, no, he's the best guy ever, that would have been a hot take. Only black swordsman there is. <laughs> well, by default. <laughs> Too soon. That would be uh, controversial. <laughs> oh no. But, but, but to to expand on your idea of the OP character, removing the the isekai like concept of it, Kenshiro and Fist of the North Star is my favorite anime of all time, and I have a continual problem with Shonen Jump MCs that are just OP, and it's like they come into a speed bump, but they go into a training arc, and then all of a sudden they can defeat, and it's just that's just dumb and redundant to me, and it's overused. Even though, again, Bleach is uh, another favorite of mine. But in Fist of the North Star, they open the whole series with Hokuto no Ken is an undefeatable 2,000-year-old martial arts technique. And that's it. That's all the explanation you need. It's not Goku's in the hyperbolic chamber and he learns. It's like, what? And then he just magically I... just defeats the guy. It's like, no, right out the gate, you know, it's unbeatable. And it's like, why does Kenshino win? It's an unbeatable martial arts technique. Then why has he lost some, sometimes? He's never lost. When is he lost? Bowser. Bowser? Bowser. Bowser? Bowser. Bowser. <laughs> that was, uh, you, uh... No, go ahead. Yeah, no, that would, uh, that ever happened. It didn't? No. I was pretty sure he got his butt kicked and then he came back and won. Hey, there you go. <laughs> exactly. It's like, like a good. Shonen Jump pro tag. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, Basic. he is Shonen Jump. He also I'm going to too. give a very controversial take right now. Okay. I think that Dragon Ball Z, because you mentioned that before, is the most overrated anime of all time. I mean, if you talk to us, we're, <laughs> we're on both sides of the fence on that one. I agree with you, Roman, I think would disagree, but uh, go ahead. Roman can explain himself. Oh, I just enjoy this show. I mean, it's I really like it. It was the first one. It's what got me into anime. Mm. Um, I know that. I think that's why a lot of people think it's their favorite show, because they have the nostalgia uh, nostalgia uh, base. Would you say it's your favorite show? Or in, in I, your... No, that's One Piece. Okay. Yeah. One Piece took over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I always refer to DBZ as a stepping stone show because I think that everybody at the time was, you know, a fan of the over top and, you know, the muscle killer dudes and all of that. But then, you know, you, you basically moved on. And the people that didn't are, you know, the ones that shop at Hot Topic and buy the. the was it the orange gi shirts and all of that? But you know, more power to them. When you're a child, when you're a child, you enjoy Dragon Ball Z. When you're an adult, you enjoy JoJo. I don't like either of those shows, so that doesn't really apply to anything. Wow, not even JoJo. I, 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 I understand the appeal. It just weirds me out. It's uh, I, I just, I, it, it's a very, it's like it for me. It feels like that show should be much more niche than it is. But it's like completely mainstream, and that confuses me. I think you actually answered the question in that it pulled the DBZ crowd. 
So it's just a more illogical DBZ because the DBZ's strength is it's straightforward. You know, you just punch the guy until he's down, basically. But with JoJo, they try to make it more uh, thinking. So it's always all like, how do I use my special abilities to outwit and overpower the other guys rather than just throw a, a more powerful fireball at the guy? True. Do you, are, are you guys uh, uh, do you guys uh, ever read the manga of the anime you watch? Um, some. Like I haven't read all of the Dragon Ball manga, but I've read up to I think Boo Saga. Uh, let me see. I do read Nagatoro. Like I, every time there's a new chapter out I, I read it um some of them I'll pick up after the series is over but for the most part there are a few like Goblin Slayer was one of them that I read before the anime came out um I remember uh you guys remember when uh, uh Misfit of the Demon King Academy came out and just like Everyone was talking about it for like a month. Yeah, we finished it. Yeah, we finished. It. We were talking, for, so we were talking about it at least for three months. <laughs> uh, uh, it, was, it was like it was really popular, and I was really surprised because it's actually it's like not that unique of an idea. Uh, it's, it, but it is also I read the manga because the manga was not that popular. Mm. I, I read it, and they just kind of stopped translating it after like chapter like eighteen. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. And, and that's, like, episode, like, four of the anime. Three or four. So I, I, I read the entire... I don't know. I haven't checked back up on it. But by the time the anime came out, I read the entire manga. And it only took a few episodes for the anime to just pass what English translated manga was. I mean, I... I was kind of, you know, 50-50 on the anime. I think that now, in retrospect, I liked it a lot more than I gave it credit for. But and can, I had to, to continually defer to Roman because I think Roman was way more into it than I was. But yeah. now, you know, in retrospect, I d- I did like it. I did like. It. I think by the end of it, uh, you know, Anos's mom and Misha and Sasha, they were fine. They were good. Um, the uh, his rival who looked like Arthur Pendragon from Fate, you know, um, it was it, it grew on me. And now I have a better appreciation for it than I did a, a year ago. Um, I think that what, what kind of killed me, though, right out the gate, was his name being Anos, because I'm too far gone in my life, and I kept thinking Anus. So I'm like, you <laughs> named your main character Anus? And I was like, oh, this is going to be rough. But uh, now... I, I actually never made that connection. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. Um, <laughs> and, and like I said, now, I you know, I, I, I appreciate Anos and, and crew, uh, but... but for about seven episodes, it was... <laughs> his name is Anus. <laughs> Anus's mom is the best girl. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, no, it was definitely... For me, I actually, I actually thought it was a slightly worse version of Kenjin no Mago when it came into quality. What do you I, think? I, pref- I still prefer Kenjin no, Ma- no Mago over uh, Demi- uh, Misfit of Demon King Academy. Roman, would you make that connection? Hmm. They're similar. They're definitely similar. Kinda. I mean, one's an isekai and the other one's not. Right. He's just the demon king. Right. Who had I all mean, this it's, power. it's like it's like a half isekai. He is reincarnated. True. Yeah, but he's reincarnated in his own world just two thousand years later. It's not like he went to a but, completely different world. I mean, if you go, if you went to the past in two, two, from, from two thousand years ago, it'd basically be a different world, wouldn't it? Mm. I think the only differences between his world and his time and the new yeah. time was that they were more at peace. Yeah, that's, I like the term half isekai, that's why. It, it's not a, a being from a completely different world, but because of the uh, the time skip into a, a foreign place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I could see it as a half isekai. I, it's how, honestly, I took it as was a half isekai. So it wasn't isekai as in he didn't get hit by truck coon. 
but he it still felt like he was transported into a new world and that's one of the issues that i had too when we were talking about it was it seemed like the, the lines were all blurred and what honestly was the difference anymore between the humans and the demons when you know anus's mom looked like a human and his dad looked like a human and everyone everyone looked for a passing human and i was like where are the demons there's no horns there's no tails I don't know who's who anymore. Uh, you know, you know that's actually very stereotypical and prejudiced for you. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. I you know that's like a big stereotype. Not all demons have horns, and you should reflect on yourself. Well, you know what? Things were different from my time two thousand years ago. All right. In my time, when I when they called me Anus, I was a hero. Okay, I was the Demon King. Oh God! Anus, the Demon Lord. Was Demon Lord Demon King? Um, I actually think it was Demon King. Demon King, all right. Anus, the Demon King. Um, Misfit at the Demon King. Yeah. So it would be yeah. Demon King. Demon King. But, um, I'll yeah. I'll tell you who sucked as an overpowered character, though. Go for it. That, um, God, what was the name of that series? The Noblesse guy. Mmm. That dude sucked. I hated that dude. <laughs> Still need to watch so it. was so bland and boring. Still need to watch it. Uh... Like, oh. I can't even remember his name. <laughs> oh! I haven't watched this, but... Because uh, it looks like garbage. Uh, if I'm being completely honest with you, but everyone's been telling me to watch it because people think it's good. And I've just watched the trailer, and I'm like, no. This kind of looks like a really... This looks like a, like a super downgraded gate plus magic kind of shit. <laughs> Which one? Which one what? What series? No Bleas? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You ever see Gate? Have you guys seen Gate? Have you guys seen I, Gate? I've yeah. seen bits and parts of it. It's that's one of the ones that I think I've saved on was it maybe Amazon is on my on my watch list or was it Crunchyroll? I know I have it saved somewhere on one of these it, streaming it, services. It's, a, it's different than Steins Gate. They're two different yeah. animes and people get them confused a lot. Yeah, no, I, I know I know Gate and that's the one with like the magic and the military guys and all that. Yeah, which yeah. is a really it, it's definitely it's the first time I've seen it well done anime. I saw one other manga that came out about the same time that was relatively similar. Yeah. Uh but it was it was the first time I saw like done in an anime which is surprising because you think military versus magic would be a decently common uh thing but it's not and it was done very well it, it the animation is is beautiful on gate yeah okay. the, the, the animation the fight scenes are really really well done all right yeah that was, that was dragon ball super but okay <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding i don't know if that was a i don't think that was a joke i think you meant that one <laughs> but but okay because um, you told me that when I said that I liked uh, how uh, Dragon Quest Die was looking and you were like I've seen Dragon Ball Super you're not going to like it did I? yeah that's what you said because it's, it's both Toei animation no I said Toei can do really great animation as far as fighting goes mm -hmm. but it's like sometimes they Skim. just kind of phone it in yeah but yeah. When they really, really want to, it's, like, amazing. Yeah. I, I kind of gathered that some of the, like, uh, with the first uh, fight with, uh, what's his name? Not Hyunkel, but the other guy, the main, Haldar, Holdar. That was actually really good. I was like, wow, they can really do stuff. And then some of the other ones look kind of, like, the, yeah, missing frames. <laughs> what are but, some of your top three anime fights? Do you guys have a top three anime fights? Fights? Uh, mm. Yeah. Like specific fights. Uh, you want to go first? Tanjiro versus the spider in the demon forest. No. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I don't know. Kenshiro and Rao is actually one of my favorites because I liked how he fought on the horse and didn't give a flying fuck. So yeah, and I was like, the horse was the true winner uh, because Rao didn't get off his horse from nobody. Rao didn't care. Um. But after that, I mean, I don't know, man. It's uh, I never really think about that because it's like the answer I give today, and I'll, it'll just change. I'll change my mind tomorrow. Um, but that one was still memorable to me. I still remember that to this day. Um, my favorite fight of all time. Uh, I don't think you, cause neither of you seen on Dark Hunter. It's definitely <laughs> Isoka, uh, the pedophile clown versus <laughs> Gone, the main character. Yeah. The, it was the uh, clown's birthday a couple days ago, actually. 
I know. Hopefully, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was spammed on Twitter. Really? Well, yeah. ho- hopefully he didn't celebrate it at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. I don't <laughs> think they can anymore. It's not open, is it? Uh, I think there's still a few yeah. open out here. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Didn't they, they, they went bankrupt? I've, I've seen a couple. I've seen a couple still in business. Are you sure? Yeah. Pretty, pretty positive. I mean, I have to double check, but yeah. I know the, the buildings are still there. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Uh, it takes a decent bit to, uh, let's see, I'm looking on their website. Sure. Um, they have summer camps? I guess they are open. What the hell is this? Well, because this, the, the clown guy, they were like, we're making our money today. My, uh... You remember when, you remember when the Chuck E. Cheese mouse said poggers on a Twitch stream and just, like, everyone got really pissed off? <laughs> no, but I believe it. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese had a Twitch account, and the, like, the Chuck E. mascot, Chuck E. Cheese, I don't know what the mouse's name is, yeah. he was streaming, and, like, he was playing Fall Guys, I think, which made it even worse. And he just randomly just went poggers... And everyone lost their shit. Pretty sure his name is Chucky. Last is name, it? Last name Cheese. I'm pretty pretty positive. Mm-hmm. Chucky. That reminds me of the doll. Uh, my my aunt actually wore the costume when she was younger at uh, Chucky e. Cheese. Really? She was the mascot. Nice. She said it was horrible because the kids would just hit her, and that costume has no padding, so she felt everything. I was gonna say that job sunk. Like the worst thing ever. Oh, she hated it. <laughs> Said it was the worst job she ever had. It's the w- yeah. worst kind I, of keeping me. It sucks. You can't even punch the children back, otherwise you'd get fired and arrested. <laughs> well, you just gotta turn around really fast and have your body hit them and be like, oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Honestly, I would probably do that. <laughs> Uh, like see how many see how many see how many incidents you can get away with without a lawsuit right <laughs> tail abuse assault with a deadly tail you, right you just gotta hide the bodies in the ball pit no one ever finds anything there <laughs> nah they lose stuff in the ball pit dude how many children do you think have been like left in ball pits a lot it's beyond the scope of this podcast <laughs> 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 Can't can't say that I've ever researched that one. Sorry, it's not a story. I personally left like ten children in ball pits. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I plead the fifth, and I <laughs> and I admit to nothing. I admit to nothing. For, I refer all questions to my attorney. Yeah, that's that's a smart move. Yeah. But uh, so, all right. You're, so, clown guy versus gone. That's your favorite fight. Yes, of all time. Mm-hmm. Because what they do well, so well there, is for for a lot of the fight, they have close-ups, and there's okay. no music. So you can hear the characters move, and like, punch, and it's, and it, that fight was built up for like, ten episodes, like, the entire series so far, actually. Okay. So it's like, it's super intense, because it, it was like, it was like the first fight I saw, at least, that was like a big fight, and... It was just completely silent, other than the movements of the characters. Are you talking which about? Was, are you talking about Hisoka? Yeah. Okay. You kind of confused and, me when you said clown guy, but then I was like, wait, he is uh, a clown. He is a clown. Okay, go the ahead. Pedophile clown. Uh, yeah, it's like it's it was it's it's one of the only fights I've seen well done, which is they don't have any music or sound for like ninety percent of the fight, and it's 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 just. It's like it's so intense that when I first watched it, I was like sweating. What's Clown Guy's special abilities? Oh no, you're you're gonna get comments if this video blows up. Uh, bungee gum that uh, has both the properties of rubber and gum, and it can stick and contract to anything at will and. Everybody in the Hunter x Hunter community will ban that in the comments if they watch this. Because it is a meme. You heard the man. Feel free to spam that in the comments. I don't, I only want to see bungee gum comments. 
no, no. You won't read them if you don't preface them with that. <laughs> I mean, there's bound to be a Where's One Piece reactions comment thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Do this... people still ask you about reactions? Yeah, people still ask me where they are. Didn't you make, like, two videos saying why? Yeah, nobody listens to those. I've also made posts about it, and nobody reads them. It, Dude. It's like, why do I even bother? <laughs> <laughs> so I just stopped answering. Last time, last time somebody asked, I just said, you know, just say coming soon and keep them on hold. <laughs> Basically, it's kind of what I say. I just, I just say like I don't know when, but just keep a lookout. Yeah, it's like it's, it's it's yeah. The new one just came out, and like link them to like one of your old videos. You get an extra view. Right. We still get views, like, every once in a while. Like, I see comments Dude, on them every once in a while. I My old videos, I, I was looking at my YouTube statistics yesterday because I'm completely validated by numbers. Uh, and uh, my new videos get less views than my old videos currently. Which is depressing. Because my old videos are horrible. Because I made Pokemon fan fictions for, like... Four years. So, what? Uh, what was the kind of content that went into your Pokemon fan fiction? It was legitimately just a PowerPoint slide. Oh, okay. And it was it. it I, I I was I wasn't nearly as good as a writer as I am now back then. Mm. So when I see people, I and I still get comments. Like yesterday, I got a comment. It's like, when's the next video uh, for the series? I'm like, this series ended three years ago <laughs> like I'm like I'm like dude can you look it's, it's like I get I, I got like a, like a comment from a video uh, that came out May 24th 2017 it's like when's the next episode I'm like never <laughs> I haven't done this in three years why do you expect to just suddenly get something it's like oh I didn't read the date I'm like oh so you're just stupid <laughs> See, I have to ask, because when you said it was Pokemon fan fiction, I thought you were doing, like, Misty uh, across her Starmie kind of a thing. So I'm glad that you answered the way you did. You thought I did what? M Misty Everybody. with her Starmie kind of fan Erotic fiction. Erotic Pokemon fan fiction yeah. involving the Pokemon. Yeah. No, I did do erotic ones involving the humans, which is almost as bad. Yeah, that would but have been... to be fair, when I first started doing them, I was 12. And uh, I had one video. I haven't said anything about this in years because it's privated now. And even though it's privated and I privated it like three years ago, it's still like my fifth most viewed video. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was it was uh, it was definitely sexual in nature, uh, where I had to delete it because it could definitely be misconstrued as something now that I know was uh, sexual assault. But I was a pretty pubescent child. I also had no idea how what any of that meant at the time. So I just kind of guessed. Mm, that's the and usual excuse people use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I was 17. I was 12. I, I'm more impressed about the hardcore nature of this Pokemon got real. Real fast. Dude, it, and I remember, I remember the person who asked me to delete it was my therapist at the time oh, he was like he's like he's like this is not good you could, this is like this is like really really bad you gotta get rid of this and it was my most viewed videos my only and had 8,000 views and my second most viewed video at the time at 850 so I'm like I don't want to first, first off I'm impressed by how edgy you were and second off I can only imagine your therapist with the gun delete this <laughs> like the meme it was basically uh. like recently this, the, my most my video that gets the most views was just uh, uh, basically there was another guy who made the same type of stuff as me. His mm. name was Death. Okay. And then he, was, he started making memes. Okay. Uh, and his channel blew up. Like he went from like having like two thousand subs uh, to having I think like a hundred and fifty thousand something like that. Okay. And then he became sort of an asshole. <laughs> Usually how it goes, yeah. Uh. So I tried copying him because I'm like I want views too. I like I like numbers. Okay. Uh, so I made uh, like like it was like a year ago I made a video where you remember when there was like oh so you like blank name every blank. Yes. Yeah, it was that meme. So I just compiled a bunch of those, including a few of his. Uh, 
and uh and it's still got like like in the past in the past month it's it's got the most it's got 1500 views in the past month which is the most out of any of my videos by like a landslide because the second only has 233 views in the last month mm. Interesting. and it's like it's like i hate it because there's no consistency i put i put i remember i made a I made a documentary about animal cruelty posted on YouTube. That one took me like thirty-five hours of work of writing and rewriting. That, that I don't even think that video has a hundred views yet. And then just upload some like random garbage I clipped from the internet, like and it gets like five hundred views in a day. And I'm like, what is life? Well, life is not learning about animal cruelty. So shut up and give us the memes. I, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what you what what the more the lesson is, kids, is uh, your effort will bring nothing. So just post garbage and hope for the best. Exactly. Maybe if you made memes about animal cruelty, then people would listen. They get Peter's attention. Yeah, dude, I've had I've done so I've, I hate Peter. I'm I'm like a big animal rights activist, so people find me annoying just because I exist. Uh, but I I like they're like oh you must like Peter. I'm like. I'm like, no actual animal rights activist likes PETA because they kill, like, most of their rescues. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. Yeah. You never heard about yeah, that? Yeah, they kill, no. like, especially their dog, yeah, they kill, like, 98% of their dog rescues. Oh, my God. Last I heard about PETA was when I was in culinary training and they had waged the war against foie gras. And so what the restaurant started doing is they just started uh, selling $80 toast and the toast just happened to come with foie gras. But in the on the, <laughs> the menu, it wasn't listed as foie gras. It was just listed as toast. So yeah, that's the last time I heard about PETA. Last time uh, I heard about PETA, they were complaining about Pokemon and made that game. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, they also you remember when Steve Irwin died? Yes. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, they they completely went on like a character tear of Steve Irwin after he died. And um, and of like and everyone was just hating on Peter, obviously, because it was like it was like ridiculous. I'm like, dude, this man just died, and now you're calling him a terrible person. Man was a national like, treasure. I know. He was also gross, treasure. but that's besides the point. I remember one of the big one of the videos I saw of him was drinking elephant dung. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, if you're gonna blend in with the elephant. I mean, I think he was just trying to stay hydrated, which makes it worse because he, it's gross. Oh, I would, I would survive. probably ra I, if, if, if I, if my, if the only thing that would make me survive in a desert, or wherever it was, was elephant dung, I would probably just sit down and die. Why not? Uh, why not just drink your own urine to survive? Because like, that wouldn't help you survive. Okay. If you're that de well, first of all, if you're that dehydrated, you're not going to urinate. Mm-hmm, true. And if you do, it's still, like, 85% chemicals. So even though if there's 15% water, unless you have a filtration device, you're actually just making it worse. I mean, you're every survivalist knows to walk around body. with their filtration device. <laughs> what you say? I said every survivalist knows you have to go around with your filtration device. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, it's not true survival unless you have a pee filter, right? Got, got my bread right I'm sure here. Bear Grylls has his with him on, <laughs> on hand every time, everywhere he goes. <laughs> on hand, those things must be heavy, oh. or not? I know you can make like a salt water filtration device with like basic tools. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to because I'm stupid, but you know, I know people can do that. Well, you're not the only one. I am Dude, everyone who—if you can't make a filtration device, like without even looking it up, you're like, I are like, are you even human? You know who else is thirsty? Nagatoro. Your mom? Oh, okay. yeah. I wish my mom was <laughs> Nagatoro. Let her bully <laughs> me every day, ada ada. Wow. Oh no. So, but is that uh, what you're into? Oh yeah. You don't know? I mean, you know, but you don't know about the ara ara. I I I know, but oh, okay. uh, that's that's not what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> he meant the incest. You mean wincest? Okay. Yeah. How old is your mother? Um, Just curiosity. You can give me like a general range. Old enough. 
Okay, because uh, like a lo- I have a lot of my friends in my school. Mm-hmm. Uh, my parents are older than a lot of their grandparents. Okay. Because I am adopted, so I had a late start, I guess, to uh, to parenthood. Okay. And some of my friends, they're like, "Oh yeah, my mom had me when she was 15. I'm like, "Oh." I'm like, "I guess." And then she's like, "And so, like, how old's your grandma?" One of my friends, who's uh, who's 16. Her her grandma is uh, 43. I I'm almost the, I'm almost as old as uh, as grandma apparently. Then you're 43. No, I'm actually I'm 37. Same. You're 37. I'm 37. Whoa, I think you guys were so much younger. Oh, th- thank you. Th- yeah, thank you for that. But no, we're yeah. we're old. Yeah, old yeah, school. Yeah, you're more than double my age. Yeah, man. Yeah, we've been doing this for a minute. And we still I like mean, anus what, jokes. Life? So, it's <laughs> 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 very true. Uh, but uh, well, yeah. I guess you guys aren't the ones that can be caught with lolly tags. With what? With what? Lolly tags. Lolly? No, 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 no. If uh, I mean, if, Sano, I'm sure you have, but you know, that's just you. Yeah, no. If her age is on the clock, it's not fair game. I mean, if she can count, she's ready to mount. Isn't that what the saying is? Uh, again, I wouldn't know, so uh, I can. Uh, I do not condone, and I distance myself away from those statements. Oh, uh, that's a direct quote from you, so I don't know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna citation needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but they, that's all good, man. You're, you're. That's Logan Paul's most famous quote. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You said Logan Paul? It was like Greg Paul. No, Greg Paul's the dad. He's the one that uh. kissed like the 16-year-old girl on a video. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this a YouTuber? Greg Paul is Logan and Jake Paul's dad. And in one of Jake Paul's videos, he kissed like a 16, 17-year-old girl. And it was really, really weird. Uh, mm. You do not... This It was huge. That blew up because it's like basically pedophilia. Right. No, absolutely. I just, I don't follow the Pauls, especially after what they did in the Japanese forest. And so this is, you're basically... This was before that. This was before that. And they they still remained on social media? Of well, course. People are stupid. They'll, they'll mm. follow somebody that dumb. Yeah. Bro, and Logan, you know, Logan Paul's had sort of, I, I think he had some controversy recently, but he's had like a sort of like a... Recently, I found myself watching a Logan Paul, his podcast, because he has a lot of good podcast episodes, and I'm like, I'm watching, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm unironically enjoying the Logan Paul video, and then I wanted to cry for, like, an hour, because, like, he has some, like, really, really good guests on his podcast, and his podcast, Jake Paul is still, like, the worst human being ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, Logan Paul seems to have, seems to have at least matured a little bit, uh, in the recent years, and I live near him, so I I think that's a good thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I live near so many famous YouTubers. I've met like I've met Logan Paul. I've met this fitness YouTuber named Martin Bradley, who is like an asshole. Uh, Shout out like, to you. Because <laughs> they all live in LA, right? So, right. so it's like I'll see a lot of famous people just kind of walking around, and uh, sometimes I'll say hi just because out of like I, I remember it, saying hi to celebrities and pretending not to know who they are is pretty fun but what's even more fun than that is I remember I was going I was talking to some Harvard students right mm-hmm. uh, and I was pretending to not know what Harvard was I, this was a meme so I just kind of copied it off the internet I saw this idea I'm like oh this is funny I'm going to try to do it in real life and and then I was and then I was like I was like I was like I'm like Harvard was that some like community college, and uh, they were getting very angry. <laughs> well, you would think if they're going to Harvard, they'd be smart enough to not get angry at at those kinds of trolls. Uh, no, well, when you get to Harvard, uh, apparently your ego gets way too inflated. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, I was going to tell you that the other issue why they didn't talk to you is because you didn't send a super chat. Maybe if you would have PayPal'd it like 10 bucks to them and then said hello, then they would have been like, oh, hey, what's up? 
I mean, I, 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 Bradley Martin's the one I've met the most mm-hmm. because he goes to a restaurant that I go to. Okay. I even have a picture with him on my, uh, you can probably find it. Uh, I'll send it to you later. Okay. Uh, I, I, I took a picture of him and posted it to my community tab. I'm like, I met this famous YouTuber. Uh, and I've met him a few times since then since we both go to the same restaurant as like regulars. Okay. And, uh, and even he's been in like so much drama. He's also just not fun to talk to because <laughs> he's like, like, just like, he has an ego. Like, a really big ego where he thinks he's, like, better than, like, everyone around him. Right. I'm not, like, saying that, like, that, that, like, oh, like, he offended me. I'm, like, like, when he, like, even when he was, like, ordering his food, like, there's, like, a certain, like, arrogance in his voice. And I don't, I don't like that type, those type of people. He also went to parties, the, like, COVID spread parties with a bunch of the <laughs> creators during COVID. Right. Including ones with a bunch of TikTokers, which was weird because he was a, like a thirty-year-old adult with a bunch of teens. And uh, well, they know how to get yeah. the good booze. <laughs> yeah, he was their booze boy. You would think that being in your thirties and being surrounded by teenage TikTokers, you would be smart enough to not do that because uh, it tends to end up online. Yeah, uh, he's a fitness YouTuber. He's not smart. <sighs> You flexing the wrong muscle. Okay. I know. So, well, we like show off topic. Yeah, hey, that's that's all good. That's all. I mean, you know, it's better than the uh, the pedophilic clown in, in Hunter X Hunter. So. Hey, no, he's so good. He's a great. He he's he's a great villain. Okay. Because he's interesting as hell. I mean, people, I, well, we call him a pedophile. Mm-hmm. He's not really a pedophile. When right. he's he, he, he's sexually attracted to strong opponents, he likes yes. Like he he's like he he gets horny off of off of strong uh, fights, okay, the hard fights, hard. Fights. And it just happens to be, <laughs> yes, it just happens <laughs> to be that going to kill other main characters are also children, so they made that connection. And he does a lot of weird type of stuff that I guess he. He could be considered a pedophile, but I, I, I really think it's just a sexual urge of fighting. So he's, a, he's a fascinating character. If you want an actual pedophilic clown, uh, read Akami Ga Kill. Akami Ga Kill? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I say read because they cut him out of the anime. <laughs> when they, when they reminds me of pedophilic clowns. What was it? Like, It? No, it's not It. Was it? it was like It or Stranger Things. Uh, uh, probably it with Pennywise is probably what you're thinking. Of. Yeah, and then it, like in the original book, like after like they defeat the clown, then like the bunch of all the like twelve, thirteen year olds have like an orgy. Yeah, yeah, they put that out of the movie. I don't know why. Yeah, it sounds like uh, the best part. Why would Stephen King write that? Well, I read somewhere that they wanted to put it in actually, but the studio <laughs> wouldn't let them. Of course. I wonder why. I know, right? I mean, I remember when, the, when there was like a Disney movie in like 2012 where the main love interest was like 31 but the main character was like 12 uh, and uh, and that would normally be just like a mama love thing but it was also real life and they ended up kissing in the movie this was on Disney? yeah which one was this? I've never heard of this I'm sure if I search up uh, Disney Kid Kisses Disney Adult, I'll find it. <laughs> kisses, kisses. This is why they're losing kisses. anime. <laughs> At least the anime doesn't hide it. Anime just makes it obvious. Anime puts it out there. Anime doesn't hold back. Manga doesn't hold back. But in this one, yeah. I do not want to disable my ad blocker on your shitty news site. Here's what it's called. Blank check. I Blank heard about check. that. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. The uh, that's one where the dude hits like the the kid, or he hits him off his bike. But he's a businessman, and so he's but he's in a hurry because he's like committing a crime. So he just like gives him a check. He's like, I here, just fill know. it out. Yeah. Yeah, that, this that, is from a long time yeah. ago, right? Like the. 90s? Uh, I don't know. It, it's not that long ago because it's or maybe early uh, 2000s, check. something like that release date let's see oh yeah I guess it was it's older than that 1996 
Yeah. Okay. Or nineteen ninety four. Which is still pedophilia was still not that well received back then. Oh, it's never been. Right. Unless it was like eighteen hundreds or Yeah, I put it in later. general chat. Um right. here it goes. Yeah, I think medieval times it was fine. Well, yeah, the life expectancy was like what sixteen, and and by twenty five you're like the chief of the village. So, <laughs> the chief. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think didn't life would be a lot better if we only lived to twenty five. You think so? I just realized. I just realized both the people I've been call with are older than twenty five. I take back that statement. Uh, I mean, you know, you, that's that's the thing. You know, I just uh, you and I, we just had our birthdays. And uh, I was looking at, uh, upon my self-reflection, and I've been doing anime and manga now for over 20 years. And you definitely, uh, you know, you either grow out of it or you don't, but your tastes do kind of change a little bit. But for the most part, not really. I mean, again, that's why when you're like, oh, Sonny, you love lolis. And I'm like, no, I think I've been on record since I was about 16 that big titty anime bitches are my thing. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure mean, that's always been my thing. Pink hair, yeah. I mean, I, I personally defend lollies uh, yeah. in general because, mm-hmm. first of all, I think it's not real, so people should stop complaining. And I think because there are definitely real pedophiles in the lolly community. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what, what do you, what do they, what do you, what's going to happen if you take away their escape, which is virtual children? They're going to go to real children. Then you're just going to have more active pedophiles. So, I don't think banning that is a good idea, necessarily. Well, you also forgot the big point, too, which is most of the time they're 500 years old anyway, so... I know, that is true. That is true. Uh, You can change... I mean, they're also drawings. Yeah, well, uh, yes. That's the the given, yes. I mean, if you sit on a one-year-old couch, are you technically a pedophile? Because it's it's not 18 yet. Where's the line? Well, now that you've put it out there, the next anime is going to be about household furniture being, uh, what what you call it, uh, anamorphic, anthropomorphic. It's not Bob the Builder, basically. Is it? Uh, I've never seen. Uh, I've never uh, seen Bob the Builder. That's Tools. I know when I was like a child, like a like an infant, I watched that. Uh, it was it's like he has she has talking tools. Kiwi's Playhouse. Oh, there you go. That one is kind of more on the on the scale, though. I don't know if you've ever seen the furry scale. Where it's like on the bottom is the actual like cat, and then at the very top is like a cat girl, and all she really has is a tail and ears. What, so there's, 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 what is your what, what 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 are you where are you on that scale? How how animal like does it have to become before you won't tap it? Uh, I think that I draw the line where the fur comes out. When that bitch starts looking like Chitara, that's when I tap out. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with Chitara? It just that's too much the fur, fur. The fur that's well, the, you know, when the fur starts coming out and the, the cheetah spots and all that, that's where I tap out. Ears and a tail, I'm cool with. I mean, like I said, that's been in the Gotcha channel here on our Discord. I've been fairly obvious about Makoto from uh, Princess Connect being one of my my waifus. Absolutely. I I definitely like when there's ears, tails, and paws. Um, I would say. When they start getting to look like the characters from Beastars. <laughs> uh, uh, that wolf is so hot, dude. I don't know what you're on about. It's just a- anime Zootopia, right? I know. I mean, there's so much Rule 34 of Zootopia, so I don't know what... <laughs> I mean, I like the show. Mean. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's my, that's my cutoff. Do you know Pokemon is actually the most... Uh, has the most results on Rule 34 out of anything? I mean, I believe it. it's been, it's ancient, so 20 years. I mean, and, I don't mean just anime, I mean like any, anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I absolutely believe you. I absolutely believe you. It, and it's, as I've, I've gone through the tag, most of it is abhorrent garbage, but there are some good ones there. It's, uh, it is definitely quality over quantity, I can agree with that. Yeah, you said it wrong, but you know. You know, you you prefer more of it, and it's just all terrible. I mean, I, I there's, there's there's a lot of terrible stuff, but every once in a while you find a gem, and that's always a good feeling. I agree. I agree. 
Roman, you've been awfully silent. I'm usually pretty silent. <laughs> I know, you suddenly just went completely silent when we started talking about Rule 34. I want to hear your opinions on this. You're the most experienced, I'd assume. You would assume, huh? Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I'm pretty, uh, pretty basic. There's no, I was gonna say, there's no way to answer to this question. <laughs> That's a completely lovely question. Ro- Roman is vanilla, man. He likes hand holding. Ugh, gross. I don't hand hold till marriage. See, and even though you, even then, you use proper protection and put gloves on. <laughs> Where's the fun? If of you hand hold before marriage, you should be castrated. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You shouldn't be allowed to procreate. <laughs> then it's not the way God intended for us to hold hands. Well, Roman doesn't believe in God. It's Madokami. <laughs> it's Madoka. It's Haruism. Oh. Oh. I bought these. You guys have. I bought these posters when I was at the mall yesterday. You know those posters that have like two different images depending on where you walk? Yes. I bought those, but they were like anime one, and one of them has three different images, which I've never seen before. Okay. Uh, it's Oga, Dobby, and uh, Shigaraki, and it's cool as hell. And it was they're like they're like uh, they're decently sized posters, uh, like they're like placemat size basically. So they're they're pretty big wall posters, uh, uh, but they're uh, they were they were only uh, two for forty. Which my people is like, oh, that may sound expensive, or it's two for forty five. Sorry, but people think may think that's expensive, but like some posters that are like not that cool, and are one poster and one image, cost uh cost that much. So that's. It sounds like it's too much to have two guys on it, though. <laughs> what do you mean? It'd have to be all girls for me. Uh, you know, well, one of them is Toga, so that's one girl, two guys. <laughs> I was gonna say, who's your uh, Boku Hero girl? Oh, that's easy, Toga. Mm. Uh, All right, dude. Yeah. If I got stabbed, I would love to be. She could stab me anytime. Yeah, yeah. This conversation's done. Podcast is over. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, you know, we, uh, we, uh, we was just having this conversation earlier with some other group of friends and, uh, they were like, oh, uh, Toga is, is best girl. And me and the other guy were like, no, Toga is worst girl, but I would still rather keep her just so I can call her anime Harley Quinn. And, uh, uh don't you dare. I, I, you know, that is so insulting. Insulting to Toga? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Harley Quinn's garbage. I agree. I absolutely agree, and and that's why I said like, we got to keep her around so that even if we call her anime Harley Quinn, she's still better than the real Harley Quinn. Toga is, I I don't know. I think I just find her whole thing. I I I'm I'm not into the whole stabby stabby part, mm-hmm. but and I'm the best part. into like literally everything else. And I think if we could change the stabby, because I there I see I've uh, there are a lot of very good fan fictions. Uh, we call them lemons uh, with her uh, and there are some unique traits that we could replace blood with that she's very into if we fantasize just a little bit I'm going to come back to the toga thing in a moment but explain lemons where does good fan fictions means lemons come from what's the meaning behind this you, you, that means you, a bad know, car. you don't know what a lemon is like I'm with Roman. When you say lemon outside of lemonade, lemons, I, I think it's a bad car or a bad deal. Oh God, uh, you probably shouldn't have a 16 year old explain this to you on video. Okay. Uh, I would recommend looking it up since uh, it, it's just lewd, lewd. It's it's what it's what fan, anime fan fictions call lewd. Basically, I don't know why. See, learn something new. That's what you kids are doing these days, huh? Yeah, I the thing I I've written some Wattpad stuff. Okay. The, the thing about Wattpad that's really interesting is I'm a decent, I'm an above average writer. Okay. Because uh, my my dad works in TV, is script writing, he has Emmys, so I'm never going to be as good as him. Uh, but I'm I'm still an above average writer. 
But everyone on Wattpad, like, 95% of the Wattpad writings are absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have, like, no grammar, no punctuation. So, like, I, some of my Wattpad stories got have, like, 10,000 reads. Because I, I, I look like a, I look like Stephen King <laughs> when I write compared to these people. And then they're like, dude, you're so good at writing. I'm like, I'm not really. Um, the, these people, you just you just have very low expectations. Right. I mean, most of the stuff that's been coming out from Western comics, comparatively speaking, you probably are Stephen King. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah. but, okay, now that you've kind of illuminated what Lemons in terms of fan fiction means, so what is, uh, what's the appeal then to, uh, to Toga? And, and to draw or write what, like that. What, use your imagination. What would you replace blood with that she's obsessed? What other liquid? Urine. That's just not worth it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're into, I guess. Poop juice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know... I'm just going to assume you know what I mean. <laughs> now I, I've just got her stuck in my head going, suck, suck, suck. <laughs> uh, 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 this is, uh, this is, yeah. And this is, I, I still don't think this podcast has gone off the rails, mind you. <laughs> yeah. What were, what were we talking about Nagatero, like, only, like, 20 minutes ago? Um, an hour ago, my friend. Yeah. Has it actually been an hour? It has. Wow. Yes, it yeah. has. But I don't know how to tell time. I can't read. No, well, you know, it's it, it, it's yeah. two women on the opposite end of the spectrum because they're both uh, bullies in their own right. But um, you know, and I can I can actually tie this together because my my thing with Toga and why again I say don't eject her. Aside from the Harley Quinn reference, is I want her to be what eventually get her comeuppance from Ochako, and I keep saying that I hope Ochako beats her ass because her going after Deku irks me. And so I want Ochako to go get her man I back. I hate Ochako. I hate Ochako. Most of the Toga fans say the same thing. <laughs> most no, of the Toga no. fans say that. Even because I don't expect Toga to be. I, I I would like Toga to have a redemption arc, but it's not going to happen right. because uh, writers are too mainstream for that shit. Uh, I mean, but like like I even out of the girls in class one eight, Ochako is like one of my least favorites. And people give me so, so much shit for that. She's like, oh, she's just cinnamon bun. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's boring. She's boring. I, I, I'm like, I'm like I, I would much rather, come on, would you, what, let's, let's be honest, would you, not, you, you're a big titty guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're Rosa, man. Oh, yeah, Yao Momo all the way. Yao Momo is my favorite, absolutely. Yeah. You know. but, but also, the fact that Deku hasn't formed a harem yet is kind of disappointing. I mean, it's, it's, was it Yamashita, right? It's Daiki Yamashita, same voice actor as Senpai. So, I mean, you know, it's... I don't know, they need to make a spin-off series where it's just, like, it's just Deku just, like, forming a harem and then Bakugo being cucked all the time. I, I think mean, that would be really funny. I mean, Bakugo already kind of is cucked, I mean, you know. But, <laughs> you know? Not if you read the right dojo. Uh, with lemons. I mean, yeah... So it's it's either Jackie it, when there's Deku and Bakugo both involved, it's either gay or one of them's being cucked. <laughs> Can't wait for Boku Hero Shippuden to come out. That's going to be an interesting time skip. Dude, uh, I I've gotten I, I like you know I've had uh, five Twitter accounts banned. Well, uh, how did you get five Twitter accounts banned? I've been banned from Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I have I have a new one. I make a new one like every few months because the other one gets banned. It's not that hard to get off banned Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one I just kind of retweeted or no I just I didn't retweet. I quoted everything Donald Trump said word for word. Jesus. Like, every time he tweeted, yeah. I just copy and paste it and then tweet the same thing. And then I got banned for I got <laughs> banned for um, for uh, spreading false information and harassment. Uh, so that's wait, interesting. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Clarify something. Were you tagging somebody when you retweeted? No. The f okay. I was just copying whatever he tweeted and pasting it into my tweet. So who were you harassing? Uh, the, have you read his tweets, dude? It's yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the, but if you weren't, like, uh, uh, quoting someone or tagging someone, that's what, who was the recipient of your harassment? Everybody who uh, The people Donald Trump harassed, I guess. No. 
<laughs> okay? It's like, it's like, there's no, there's no victim. You're just talking shit. It's like, uh, man yells at cloud through Twitter. You know, <laughs> that's how I interpret it. And it's like, you know, if you were like yelling at, if you were standing on the street corner, just with your phone, just yelling at the moon, tweets, it's like, what is he saying? Oh, it's Donald Trump tweets. I'd be like, oh, okay. And I would walk away because I was like, he's not hurting anybody. He's just talking shit. I would be like, okay. I'm not the only one who's banned for doing that too. Oh my god. The song. Uh, and then there was there was uh, there was uh, uh, one of the content deleted because see I get told to I I I put a lot of uh, like uh, controversial takes. Sometimes they'll just like say something that's just deliberately wrong to see how many people I can piss off. Okay. Uh, at, at one time, uh, I tweeted I tweeted um, uh. At a K-pop group, uh, that K-pop is an abomination, and then anybody who listens to it hates animals and hope the world dies. Uh, I I had so many death threats. It was so funny. All right, that it was one getting you... to a point where it's like I was like my inbox was full with people just actually wanting me to like perish, and I'm like I'm gonna get DDoS if I don't delete this account soon. Yeah, that one you brought on yourself. <laughs> that one I can't. Oh yeah, I told, I was totally expecting the result because yeah. I find people harassing me funny. Yeah, unless I deserve it. I I, I it's so because a lot of the time I did that because I I've seen I've seen people who just post I don't listen to K-pop get like harassed for that. So I wanted to see if someone actually insulted K-pop, like, to a, a super degree, how much harassment they would get. So you were doing a social experiment. God, I hate that word. Please don't. That <laughs> word more social lost all meaning. <laughs> no, I was just being an asshole. Okay. <laughs> that's, well, the social experiment. Yeah, that's the, that's the street term for so. it. <laughs> you know? But it wasn't fake, so, mm -hmm. you know. Well, it, it's a uh, it's a good way to see I, to gauge people's responses. That's for sure. Um, the only the only fandom more more toxic than the K-pop fandom that I've seen and more aggressive to people with dissenting opinions is the Dream fandom. The what? The what? Dream. Dream. What's Dream? What's the Dream fandom? The Minecraft YouTuber. Oh, dream. okay, okay. The guy with the green skin and the smiley face that is, like, a perpetuative of stag culture. Yeah, we're not 10, so basically. we don't watch him. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's also... Have you seen his merch? His merch is... He makes merch, right? Because he has children audience and they will buy them. Uh, but his, his merch is just a hoodie with a smiley face drawn on it. Is it yellow? I was it's thinking, green. I was thinking oh, it's too. green. Okay. I've seen green smiley faces before. But I, I know, know but his. yeah, he's famous, so he gets away with that stuff. Also, he's, like, he, he was a speedrunner, and he's been accused of faking, like, a bunch of speedruns, and then he threw a hissy fit about that, so. Hmm. All right. Minecraft apparently is hype. Let's, let's, let's blew up that. recently. It, it's starting to die back down again, but it's like it, it went it, it like 2019, 2020. It 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 uh it shot up in popularity. Well, that's because PewDiePie started playing it, wasn't it? No, it it, it was originally because these uh, YouTubers like Call Me Carson uh, made a series called uh, SMP Live, and a bunch of other YouTubers not famous for that. Like all the, and a lot of OG YouTubers joined us. Sort of like Ant Venom, Sky does Minecraft, uh, uh, Captain Sparkles. Okay, that guy I've heard of. Yeah, and then so a lot of a lot of it got a lot of attention, and it single handedly basically revived the game. I mean, the game wasn't dead, but it was like it revived it. Like it like it, it got huge that server. So if I said that uh, Toga should Minecraft herself. I don't know what that means. Okay. Good. I mean, so Minecraft is still not dead. <laughs> I don't know. If pe people, 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 uh, people say that, and I'm like, "Have you ever been on a Minecraft server? Those things are still filled to the brim with people." Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I agree. I, I know that uh, it's still very popular. It's one of the big channels on Twitch, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? Minecraft. 
the Minecraft. Uh, I category. genuinely enjoyed the game. I, I think I think I, I get. I, I don't know. A lot of people just, like hate the game, but I think most of the hate is just because it's popular. I don't think it's like the best game ever, but it's it's like a, it's a fun game. There's a lot of cool things you can do on it. I mean, that's my shtick. I basically don't like anything that's popular or mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> and what would happen if your channel blew up? We'd oh, well, by, yours, by your logic, clearly we'd become assholes. <laughs> you become, like, really depressed because you became popular and you don't like popular things? Uh, I would, uh, I would actually be in denial, quite honestly. I'd feel like, people listen to this? <laughs> that's, that's my take on it. But, uh, you know, I would, uh, in, in, beyond that, I would actually just be happy, you know? Personally, I would I would be happy. I would love to have people engage in the conversation more and and talk and and chill. Honestly, I I would uh that would make me satisfied. That's uh if, if my channel blew up, I would have to start putting much more efforts into the things I uploaded. Oh yeah. Because I felt like if I just kept uploading, like if I had a five hundred k subs, I'd be like I can't upload the garbage I'm uploading now anymore. Because <laughs> people actually care about this stuff now. The only reason I'm feel comfortable uploading the stuff I upload now. Because I know nobody watches it. I'd say the same. Because if it blew up with that kind of quality, then they, they're they going to enjoy it no matter what. <laughs> it's like, why change? True. It's like a band who changes their image and tries to do something different, and then everybody hates that band because they changed. Right. It's like, I'm just not going to change. You like what I do, so I'll just keep doing it. But what, from what I've seen is that if you just, like, a lot of garbage channels just blow up, but most of them will die. I uh, popularity. Because uh, I, I definitely am past my peak, unless it blew up again, which I don't think I will. Uh, uh, because I had, uh, there was a span of YouTube where I was getting, in, I was averaging 1,100 views per video. I don't, I, I average like 45 a video now, so. Uh, that's like, what was that, like, I mean, it is like 1,000% or 2,000% decrease. So, you know, it's like, I know, I know how fast you can fall from YouTube's grace. I do want to point out that that was deep, what you just said, Roman. Sure that was deep. So don't, don't be that band, don't be Green Day, don't sell out Metallica. No. <laughs> be Nickelback. <laughs> be Nickelback, look at this manga, doesn't it take you back? <laughs> They should, Rick Astley should have just said, saying, never gonna give you up for, like, that should be his only song. Yeah. Charge $40 a ticket, just sing that, and then just, How many views uh, do you think that video has now? Oh, man, too many. Millions? Two, two, mm, yeah. Millions? I would think it has at least a billion by now. I remember when I was part of the, uh, rock band forums, okay. they actually hacked the MTV Music Awards and got him <laughs> on there for best live performance. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's definitely not. It's, it's not on a billion yet. It's so a nine hundred and sixty million. Almost uh-huh. there. So I'm right. Millions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hundreds of millions. It's still millions. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna technically say that Anos is in a isekai, half isekai, then we can technically say that it's still millions. Alright, sure. <laughs> <I guess> so. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't argue that logic. <laughs> yeah, not really, no. So, you know, you brought this on yourself because you were the one that said, Roman, why don't you talk? And now he's out here dropping knowledge bombs. Dude, this is great, man. <laughs> the host of the podcast should be the one talking the most, in my opinion. So, you know, it's good. Well, well, you know, he, he, he always says what needs to be said. That's what. <laughs> Yeah. Roman, Roman, Roman speaks, it's like an enlightenment time. I'm like Silent Bob. <laughs> there you go. Except less high. <laughs> so. I mean, Roman, Roman's voice is the type you hear on like ASMR to like go to sleep to. Or maybe if you want a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, if you, I, I feel like you'd be like, you'd, you'd, you'd be good at reading bedtime stories, dude. You know, I, I can kind of picture it. I'm going to bring this back into the Nagatoro discussion. Um, because Ow. that's... Roman, uh, In the if you go and read the forums right now, you'll see that there's the discussion about the art club president who comes in next week's episode. 
And Roman kindly, you know, destroys haters with logic. And now I can just imagine him just reading the Nagatoro manga in his Roman voice. Roman, you should just read manga on video and just post it and see what happens. I've tried doing that. There's a few videos out on my channel. Are there? Will you just read the manga? Yeah, where I just read the manga. Oh, I don't mean react to it. I mean, like, try to, like, voice act. Oh, no, I don't do voice acting. I know you don't, but I think it would be really funny. It probably would be. <laughs> Remember, you have to hold on to those... <laughs> So. <laughs> <Nani>? <laughs> yeah, you have to hold on to those. All right, all right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, now you're speaking my language. I, I'm aroused. I didn't need to know that. Yeah. yeah how do you think well, I feel? 16, I'm sitting right, right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, so let me ask you then, as an anime fan in, in SoCal in 16... What's it? What's it like over there? Do do are they pretty uh, appreciative? Are you, do you find many people to connect with? How's the community out there? I mean, there is no community for anything in LA. Really? Completely there. Really? Yeah. No. Uh, it, what's because our, we, we when you live in a big city, I don't know where if you guys live in big cities or not. Uh, but, like when you live in a big metro, metropolitan city, mm -hmm. it's like you don't really have a sense of community. Because, you know, if you have two, if you have two, because we don't live in a house. Nobody lives in a house where we live. Right. We live, I live in a condo. So you don't really have, like, that many neighbors that you connect with because they move out all the time. So there's not really a sense of community anywhere. Also, uh, I mean, my most recent video uh, was me, uh, it's called uh, Buxy LA Fire Department. Uh, because... Uh, the, I remember I was, I was failing this homeless guy because he was having like a mental breakdown and I called the cop uh, 911 like five different times I'm like you need to send someone he's jumping in front of cars and they just didn't I mean, and then they just killed it would have huh? fixed itself and if they, they would have waited <laughs> Jeez. it would have worked itself out yeah it would have worked itself out yeah, let's go with that one. And, but then, like, and then, but then I, I saw it was an ambulance that was heading back to the station. So I waved it down, and they pulled over. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, why? And like, this is still this guy. He's still there. Nobody's came yet. It's like, well, it's a little hard if we because he's moving locations and stuff. And I'm like, well, he's right there because he's still in viewing distance. And I'm like, can you please go like get him and like stop him from like harming himself? And then and then he's like, he's like, yeah, I guess so. He's like, so like. He was so disinterested, he, it, which pissed me off so much. And then he went over. So he went to drive. He went to the parking lot and drove towards the guy. And then took a U-turn. Well, I could still see him. And just drove back to the fire station without actually confronting the guy whatsoever. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And it's like, isn't your job to help people? You watch too many movies. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, then, that's uh, that's very, very interesting. I figured that uh, in the L.A. area, especially being home to Anime Expo, you guys would have uh, been more inclusive and, and you know, been uh, easier to connect with uh, and the anime and manga oh, no, groups out there. Come again? Like, 95% of the population in L.A. are intolerable and impossible to talk to without getting very angry. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> if I could move, I would. Interesting. I mean, it, what's also funny, too, is that I know that there's a, a couple of, uh, like, dub, like anime voice actors and anime companies are kind of out in L.A. Well, the headquarters, I think, is in I, Texas, but, yeah. Like, recording studios are all throughout I, L.A. I guess, but I don't know if there's not that. I don't, I'm not really invited to recording studio. That's, that's funny. That's unfortunate, but that's funny. That, wow. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, that's why you have, uh, things like these, podcasts like these where you can come on and, and vent and, and discuss it and talk a bit about it. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, 
You're doing what you I'm can. I'm definitely going to die 20 years younger than I should because of the air pollution here. <laughs> Maybe. Or you'll just evolve to be able to breathe normally. 80. Yeah, I, I like what Roman said too. The natural evolution will just uh, give you uh, mutant mutations that allow you to just live in those kinds of conditions. Florida will sink. What was that? How long before How long Florida sinks? Florida sink? I mean, they've been saying California is going to sink for like 50 years, so it's probably going to be a while. <laughs> California is higher up than Florida at the moment, I'm pretty sure. We have a bunch of mountain ranges on the coast. Yeah, but we're supposed to detach from the United States and just sink into the ocean. You know? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That happened faster, please. I want to be there when it happens. Was it was it a Bugs Bunny when he just sawed off Florida or whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is like the Maldives, like half underwater now. Like, is, is like the Maldives have to evacuate people like every month because another island sinks. I wouldn't doubt it. Also, I remember this, this, this news article I read in twenty twelve, and I first thought it was sad there. And it still stuck with me. It, uh, I remember the one time the Maldives arrested a coconut for interfering in the election. A uh, coconut? Coconut. Yeah. Hmm. Because they believed it had like witchcraft powers or something. <laughs> Voodoo. So they put it in custody. <laughs> Did they read the coconut its rights? I don't know. Feel free to look it up. The news articles on it. I mean, if they did, then they, they can't legally hold him. <laughs> or her. Do the police even have rights for coconuts? I don't know how their coconut law right situation is there. I'll have to ask somebody who's into the, who knows about that kind of A stuff. Coconut law specialist? Yeah. <laughs> I'm your coconut lawyer. Uh. <laughs> I just had coconuts from the prosecution. The apples. <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. That's great. Um, yeah. Or food court. A food court, but it's not like a food court. It's like a court with food. You're going to need to get a specialist in the four food groups. <laughs> Take the stand. It's like... It's like it's like the the chicken egg the, the egg is suing the chicken on who came first something shitty like that who would be the judge what food would be the judge well let's, it... let's stick with fruits that's simpler what fruit would be the judge of the fruit court <laughs> I don't know man because this whole situation would be two bananas for me uh, it's funny I'd have to go with the the dragon fruit though because it's uh, Epic sounding name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say the same here. thing, actually. Yeah. The the Dragon Ball fruit. Z. Yeah, the Dragon Ball fruit. The Dragon Ball Z fruit. The Super Dragon I, fruit. The eggplant is getting. Uh, the eggplant is on trial for sexual assault. <laughs> I figured the cucumber would. I mean, he's a defendant. <laughs> Uh, so we've been we've been going at this for over an hour. What what else you got? If you got anything else, let's go, or uh, we'll we'll wrap it up. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't. I don't I mean, we've so. we've got... covered we've covered a lot. I'm impressed. We've got almost an hour and a half, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, you guys, Roman, what you got? Uh. By the way, guys, there's a YouTube glitch uh, for the audience members, so make sure you're still subscribed, because that's still a thing, according to all the famous Twitch streamers. Yeah, check your subscriptions that you're still getting notifications, and you're still subscribed to the channel. If you don't like this video, I will personally come to this house and pack you down to figure out what crime you have committed. <laughs> I, I don't doubt he would, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I, I appreciate you coming on here. It's going to be hard to describe this uh, episode. It's going to just be in a, a variety episode, I guess. But, uh, hey, it, yeah, no, it was, uh, but I had fun. I learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. So yeah, let me let me ask you before while we're wrapping this up, Kilo. Where, what's what's next for your channel? Are you going to be revitalizing your channel, or what are you thinking? Uh, what direction are you taking your channel in? I am trying to find an idea that will stick. Okay. I'm in the idea brainstorming process at this point. I'm just filming things, and if it works, that's the idea I'll try to go with. Okay. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to do different things, see what works, see what doesn't. All right. Well, uh, again, I, I, you know, we're in NorCal, you're in SoCal, and so I, I, I still believe that you're in a topic-rich environment. So even if it's you just getting a GoPro and walking around downtown LA, see how crazy shit can get. I think you, you can still do, be something. Good idea. But, but you know, one of the things I think are normal. Apparently, people think are abnormal other yeah. places yeah um well i'm sure la is pretty weird so yeah for sure um but you know yeah man just uh yeah thanks for taking the time to come on and, and just chop it up like i said this was interesting for sure yep yep okay, guys. Well, about it yeah so roman uh what are we doing for our next watch party oh uh, it's a good question uh, that we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> I have to go find something. Uh, so I wasn't prepared for oh, this. Wait. Wasn't gonna, oh no, you did that uh, on a different channel. Oh yeah, we did that on on Friday. Uh, and it turns out the Walter Coy live action was more of a musical. But I mean, I'm not opposed to watching it again. But yeah. Jack doing an outro. Yeah, we're 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 talking about what we're gonna do for our next watch party, but that's to be announced. That's TBA. So anybody that's in, coming to the watch party, just stay tuned for more announcements. Yeah. Uh, we'll let you know when it's going to happen. Yeah. It'll be posted on the uh, the Facebook and the, the Discord. Correct. So Correct. Just go there and check it out. Sure. Uh, so I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you again for coming on. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you me. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you all in a couple weeks. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye.